Yo, what's going on guys? Dex here. Hope you're doing absolutely wonderful today. As you might have seen on Twitter, as you might have seen on YouTube, if you follow any of the Call of Duty accounts, we got an awesome, super incredible Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies trailer today. The gameplay looks cool, the storyline looks great. I think Treyarch does an absolutely incredible job with the entire storyline behind their zombies. They really excel at the entire you know, just overall scene of the zombie stuff that they create, and I think they did an excellent job for that. I don't know if I'm going to cover a video on it, but I at least wanted to touch and let you guys know that that is out, that has been released, and if you want to check that out, be sure to cruise over to those channels and check it out. It's really starting to look like there's going to be a lot of hype behind the Black Ops 4 zombies this year. I might even start to dabble in it just a little bit. I've said that a couple times in the past. There's going to be a lot to cover with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this year, you know, with multiplayer zombies and of course the newest game mode blackout blackout is going to be a battle royale mode for those of you that have been living under a rock and you might not have caught that yet and up until the point of these leaks that i'm going to cover in this video as you might have seen we haven't gotten a lot of information we got a very very small snippet with a little bit of detail from the call of duty black ops 4 community reveal event but that's really about it we haven't seen any gameplay no one's played it that I know of, you know, no content creators have put out information about it or anything like that. So I'm really interested to see how it's all going to play out and what Blackout is going to be like. You can best believe I'm going to be diving into it, but I'm not going to be able to do that until September whenever they have the Blackout beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. However, what we can't cover today is something that was leaked on Reddit. I'm going to put the link to the Reddit post down in the description below. We have several different things we're going to talk about in this video. I'm just going to kind of touch on some bullet points from this leak that are in this Reddit post and just kind of give my thoughts on it, maybe elaborate on a little bit and just kind of get a little discussion going on. I want to know what you guys think about any and every topic that I talk about. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see. Or if there's anything you think that I might be missing or not really connecting it together, let me know. I'm not really trying to piece everything together. I just want to let you guys know what these leaks are about and what kind of information has been out there. As always, take it with a grain of salt. It's not confirmed by Activision. Obviously, we have not seen it publicly yet. So these could be spot on and they could be inaccurate. I'm not saying that they're 100% right. But you guys know how this stuff goes. Sometimes leaks come out and they're they're 100 true. They're spot on. And sometimes it's like, yeah, it wasn't really quite what I thought it could have been. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, just I'll keep that in mind. But let's talk about these leaks that were leaked by Reddit user Omnipotent Tim. Pronouncing that name was a lot harder than it probably should have been, but it is what it is. I'm pretty much going to touch on these things in the same order that they are on this post, just in case you guys want to follow along or check it out. The first thing we're going to touch on is the map. First, I'm going to read what the post says, and then we're going to talk about it just a little bit more. The post says it's the largest map in Call of Duty history. Obviously, I think that would be expected. But there's a lot of focus on verticality. As seen in the teaser, the map features pieces of iconic maps from previous games. Newtown is located in the middle of the map on an island surrounded by water set after the nuke has already been dropped. The layout and theme of Nuketown and Blackout is similar to that of Nuketown Zombies from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I think that's very interesting. Obviously, I, like I said, I feel like it should be the biggest map in Call of Duty history because if you're going to have a BR mode, you're going to have more than the equal number of people that would be in like a ground war lobby. You know what I'm saying? I think that was something that we probably would have been able to expect. The fact that they're kind of combining different features of the maps is something that they touched on at the community reveal event. I'm going to throw up this graph that I came across on Twitter that I think you guys might find interesting. It'll kind of help you understand what I'm about to touch on and it'll kind of give you just an overall idea of how everything could kind of flow together. We might flow in from one part of the map to another and you know I think if it's done correctly we could even see multiplayer maps possibly flow into a part of a zombies map or something you know what I'm saying like imagine you're playing on like redwood right and, and you're in like a scary wooded area and then you kind of like go off into a darker area of something that might have been something from zombies you know and then it ties back into a city or something like that you know i'm not i'm not familiar with all of, of the different maps and the scenery and all of them but i think they can make this a huge massive thing it doesn't have to be limited to just multiplayer maps but also zombies maps as well i think they can do a lot of different things with that and i think that could be very interesting as for the vert verticality i think that would be something that, that would be cool to see because in like city and town areas that they might have in sections of the map they could do something like we've seen in other br modes you know something like fortnite you know whenever you guys drop tilted towers you have you know several different layers of of buildings and levels and floors that you can pick up loot and and try to pick people off from and all of that stuff so 
I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're going to have some added verticality and, you know, potential areas of the map and stuff like that. It is noted just a little bit further down in the list that there will be land, air, and sea vehicles as seen in the teaser. And that the ATV is the only fully functional vehicle of the current build at this current moment. That might be something we might get to see in the beta. Maybe get a test with that. Get a little bit of hands on and just to kind of experience with it. Because I'm really curious and I'm kind of like uncertain, unsure of how like other air and sea vehicles might work. A boat could be some kind of sea vehicle, a jet ski, something like that. I feel like that's pretty much a no-brainer. Air vehicles, though? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. That could be the way you drop into the map. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know how big this map is. We'll just have to see once it finally comes out. What do you guys think about that? In this leak list, it says that they're aiming for at least 50 players. Currently testing 64 players right now with no plans to increase if possible. I'm wondering how that's going to play. Obviously, everything is going to play off of how the map feels and plays the size of that. You know, obviously, if you have, you know, a map that isn't as big as other BR games, you obviously wouldn't want 100 something players in a, a smaller map, you know. So I think a lot of it will depend on the size of the map, you know, will kind of affect how many players we might end up seeing in this BR game mode. It says that health is at 150 health points, which is pretty much kind of what we were seeing in the multiplayer version of the game. It's gonna be replenished via scavengeable medical kits. Equipping scavenger armor allows the player to take one extra shot. Armor piecing rounds will counter the effect of the armor. That's interesting. Obviously, it's going to be cool that we're going to be able to heal and stuff like that through like med kits and everything. Having armor that we're going to be able to pick up and find will kind of allow you to, to take in a little more damage, a little more shots and stuff like that as well. That's going to be, sounds pretty neat, sounds cool. It says we're going to have limited inventory slots, which we can kind of expect. Increased space through scavenged backpacks. So we've seen things like that in something like Player Unknown Battlegrounds. You can pick up different sized backpacks that I believe can allow you to carry more items more inventory and stuff like that as for weapon loot and consumables it says the weapon loop will have different rarities to them depending on the rarity your weapon will have different attachments higher rarity will have better or more attachments and that could be subject to change there are currently talks about attachments being scavenger rather than rarity dependent i think that could kind of go either way and um I'm kind of interested to see how that would work. I think it would be cooler to have the gun, have the rarity, and just, you know, have, you know, more common things be not as good and the rare things just be a little bit better instead of having to go around and find something like long barrel or a grip or something like that. I think I'd rather just be able to go just pick up the gun and just know, hey, I'm getting a good gun or hey, this is common. It's not going to be that great. Consumable abilities such as multiplayer specialist abilities, though, for example, it says that Torx Portable Barricade with one use, Ruin may have a grapple hook with limited uses, and Nobad's Dog, which can be commanded to follow the player or guard an area. All of those sound super interesting. It sounds like that could kind of allow the specialist story mode that they've mentioned in the past to kind of, kind of substitute having a campaign. You may be able to have some utilization from the specialist in Blackout as well. You may be able to kind of connect to these specialists. They may have a little bit of lore behind it, as we've seen in other BR game modes as well, to kind of make you feel like you are connected to the story, you're connected to the characters that are in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and have a little bit of history behind where they are, who they are, where they came from, all of that stuff. It says that there is going to be equipment in the game, such as the Recon RC, an RCXD without explosives. So uh, it's like the little remote control car thing you can drive around. And maybe it won't blow up, but you can use it more to scout an area, maybe push into a building to see if there's any enemies in there or any kind of who knows what they may have set up traps or something like that. It says they can be scavenged so they can be found throughout the map to give the player a slight advantage over other players in the lobby. It shows that currently there's a monkey bomb equipment which doesn't explode that can be found which is likely a placeholder for a decoy grenade. I'm not really sure what to take from all that. I know they use monkey bombs and zombies. That's really all, all I, I really know as, as far as that. It says the storm or the gas mechanic which basically is what starts on the outside of the maps and other BR modes and it slowly closes in over a period of time. Pushing all players to a specific location of the map, bringing them all in together so it will kind of push them to have to encounter each other and kind of force them to have to make choices of how they're going to play the map, how they're going to push and move around and enforce these engagements to allow them to take each other out throughout the game mode. 
It does say while players are simply parachuting into the map, which is subject to change, talks of moving into a spawning system similar to Call of Duty Online are happening. I'm not familiar with the spawning system on Call of Duty Online. I like the idea of being able to parachute in somewhere. I'm sure they're probably trying to make this their own game as much as they possibly can, so they probably don't want to have to do that if they have other options. But I don't know. I think it's cool to, to, to kind of have that concept. What, what do you guys think? Would you guys rather spawn in or would you rather parachute into the map, drop into a certain location, kind of be able to see where other people might be dropping in, what part of the map you want to work instead of you know being forced into a spawn type of thing. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the, the bit of leaked blackout information regarding map, health, armor, weapons, different kinds of loot that you can scavenge, inventory slots, specialists, all of that stuff. That's all of the information we have so far. These are supposedly things that they are working on. Like I said, I have no exact information on this. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not confirming it. I'm just putting it out there. This is all. This is already information that's, that's been made public to the entire internet, the entire world. I'm just the messenger. I'm just touching on it. I want to get a conversation going on down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, what you would like to see in Call of Duty Blackout. And let's have a little bit of a discussion. Leave a like if you guys are hyped for Black Ops 4. The beta is coming here August 3rd to PlayStation 1st. The following week to PlayStation, Xbox, as well as PC. It's going to be dope. We're going to be giving away some beta codes as we get a little bit closer, I believe. And there will be all kind of hype coming and all kind of content. So be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications because things are about to get fun. They're about to get hectic and they're about to get busy. And I hope you guys are ready for the grind like I am. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. been showing so much support lately. I just can't thank you enough. Have a great evening. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.